Welcome back to the channel where the art is always random and so am I. Today's sketchbook episode 21. Once again I'm feeling lazy going from third shift to second shift of my job and the transition kind of has me drained. It doesn't matter how many hours I sleep it still kind of just makes me feel tired all day. But the grind never stops like I'm running from the cops. Quote logic on that one. So yeah today's all about Donald Gambino or Childish Glover. Or should I say Childish Gambino and Donald Glover. Whatever you want to call him, the guy makes great music, and he's a very unique individual who is also very good at many different traits. But yeah, Gambino has always been around, but I've never actually listened to him until a few years ago. My friend Dennis, who was my co-worker at one point, was telling me to listen to Redbone, and I did a few months later. He kept saying, listen to Redbone, listen to Redbone, listen to Redbone, listen to Redbone, listen to Gambino, listen to Gambino. This was like four years ago or whenever the song came out. But yeah. I always thought it was a woman spe speaking, or should I say a woman uh, singing, but listening closely, I was like, wait, this kind of, is that Gambino? And then the next day, I was like, yo, Dennis, was that some chick? He's like, nah, that's Gambino. I was like, okay, uh, that kind of surprised me. But yeah, overall, I really liked the song, and then it made me a fan. And like I said, I wouldn't consider myself a hardcore fan, but I am saying is I do love his music and his artistry. I still need to listen to his new album, but I know it came out a few weeks ago or by now like a month or two ago. And I should have listened to it then, but I kind of am like very, very good at procrastinating. So I've been holding back on it. I should have listened to him when I was working on the drawing of him, but I kind of just forgot about it and started listening to his old music instead. After all, I am one of the world's greatest procrastinators, self-claimed procrastinator, whatever. But yeah. If I could hone into my hidden power, I'd be able to upload probably 200 videos a year easily, but I'd run out of energy and burn out. Uh, the best example I could probably give is sort of like Kaioken and Dragon Ball Z. For those who don't know, well, Dragon Ball Z, you've all heard of, all of you know Goku, but he has a technique where he gets strength multiplier, but it also destroys his body. The longer and higher level that he uses it, the more he self-destructs basically. And with me, it's the same thing. I could draw for a few hours nonstop, feel good, feel great. But as soon as I'm done drawing, I completely crash and I do not want to draw anything for a few months. And then it just mentally and physically draining. But yeah, I got to get on it. But for now, I'm just trying to balance out with the sketchbook series and regular art. Got to find a happy medium. And another problem is I'm running out of a storage space and I've gone through almost. Let me see almost two terabytes worth of memory that's how much videos i have recorded and uh uploaded and stuff like that and i should get like a i don't know uh something on the side to keep everything safe i should do that but i'm procrastinating on that too and like i said before i'm done with the realistic portrait of gambino but i want to do some research on him first and watch some interviews i don't just want to make a video i want to keep it like somewhat unique what most artists do is just upload a video time lapse of the drawing but I want to add my opinions and thoughts on said artist or topic or whatever and try my best to stand out. I love Gambino, although I'm not a giant fan like I said earlier. I did go to his concert two years ago. Made in America tour I think it was and the set was amazing. It was like moving rectangles all over the place and stuff like that. I love the lighting, overall it was a great vibe and singing in person is amazing. And what he also did was he went into the crowd and just started walking back and forth. He was about two seconds away coming near me and I would have gone to see him. Overall, the show was sort of like a, the best way to put it was a bittersweet memory because at the time I was going through something personally and it was like, although the show was amazing and it's a great memory, I'm hoping he comes back again so I could rewrite that history for myself in a way. But yeah, and like always, if you like what you see, like, comment and subscribe. It helps me out a lot. I've realized that all the videos that have a lot of comments and a lot of likes also end up getting a lot of views so help me out with that and yeah as always thanks for watching my name's addis187 well it's not really my name but you get the point thanks for watching and i'm out